just be a quick tech talk on tire pressure monitoring. All right, again, my name is Roman Gold, and I want to show everybody a few of the components that make up the Bendix tire pressure monitoring system that we supply. Uh, this is offered on an OE level and as an aftermarket kit. Uh, I want to go through just a few of the, uh, the pieces that actually install on the truck and also introduce you to our brand new trailer TPMS system that's actually launching at the end of April. Uh, so some very exciting new stuff coming out. So here are the few uh, pieces that you would have to install on the vehicle. Uh, starting with the main ECU, this is the TPMS ECU. That normally goes right near the front steer axles. Um, by the front bumper, you could mount that outside underneath the vehicle. Uh, this little unit actually picks up the sensors that would be mounted in your steer tires at the front of the vehicle. Uh, these sensors look very much like these here. Little unit with a cradle that actually mounts to a steel strap that wraps around the rim on the tire. So it goes inside the tire, the lowest part of the rim. And there the unit will actually measure pressure and temperature continuously and report out if you are experiencing, for instance, a pressure loss or have a spike in tire temperature. At the rear of the vehicle, we also use an additional antenna just to pick up the rear tires. That is actually connected to the ECU on the front. That makes up the main components that go on the outside of the vehicle. And of course, in your dash, you also have a TPMS display. This is our standard two inch gauge we supply right from Bendix. It gives you all the information, all your axles, every location. And for each location, you will get the contained air pressure the temperature of that air, and most importantly, what we call the deviation value. It's actually a calculated value between those two values first, the pressure and temperature. We tell you how much you're over pressure or under pressure based on your start out target pressure in each tire. So a very useful tool. This is where you get all your alert notifications from, and it also has a buzzer output, so you get an audible notification as well. Uh, coming back to these sensors, um, they actually operate with a battery internally that's good for five years. And as I said, the sensor operates all the time. So whether the vehicle shut down or not, it will keep measuring your pressure and temperature in the tires. When the driver first keys on the truck, within the first five minutes, you will get a full complement of all your pressures and temperatures throughout the vehicle. So it takes away that need for going around and billy clubbing the tires and doing a physical check. The other advantage, because they're actually mounted inside the tire, you don't have to take the valve cap off to take a pressure reading from the tire. You could simply use one of our hand tools and actually ping the sensor right through the sidewall of the tire and get a pressure and temperature reading directly on the hand tool if you didn't use the gauge that's mounted in the cab. So you have two ways of diagnosing. While the driver is out on the road just operating normally, he doesn't have to concern himself with the gauge at all. If there was an alert, it would pop up right away on the gauge with a light alert and guide you right to the tire in question and show you exactly how much air you've already lost. Now, one of the key benefits of our system, because we measure pressure and temperature at all times together, we can give you, for instance, a separate high temperature alarm. Should you experience a dragging brake or a broken wheel bearing that will actually end up heating up the rim and could potentially cause a tire fire, we will alert you early on before you get into any dangerous uh, situations. So this would come up as a separate high temperature alert, again, on any of the wheel positions in question. It'll give you enough time to safely pull over, assess where the damage may be coming from, and more importantly, actually save the tire from further damage. So you could fix the leak or the broken bearing and continue on using that tire. This is key when you're operating the wide base or super single style tires. You pretty much only get one chance and they can be expensive tire options, it's key to have a good TPMS system to go alongside that. So very easy installation. Again, this little unit up front does establish that wireless bubble to sense the output from all of these tire sensors in each location and relays it up to the display. Now, newly introduced this uh, upcoming month here in April, we're actually bringing out our TPMS trailer unit. Works very much the same way I just explained the vehicle mounted uh, version, but with this it's an even simpler install. It's a simple box that gets powered off for ABS power splice at the back of the trailer. You would just install this between the rear trailer axles. And again, the sensors and strap methodology from the tow vehicle is the same on the trailer. Strap wraps around the lowest part of the rim, sensor gets threaded onto the strap to hold it in place, and would at that point then once the tire is aired up, measure pressure and temperature. 
Now, the convenient thing between these two units is that as the driver hooks up to a trailer, he doesn't have to change anything in his standard routine. He hooks up his airlines and drives off. We will sense the wireless communication from this unit with the wireless communication from the front unit, connect the two, and automatically, after 30 seconds to two minutes, depending on the timing, we will reboot the gauge on the dash in the tow vehicle and show you now all the trailer axles, all their locations with pressure, temperature, and deviation. So those days where you're towing a trailer behind you and a tire is overheating and you may not notice it, especially if it's one of the inners of the dualies, those days are over where you could potentially run into a, a tire fire with this system equipped. It will give you early enough warning. All the parameters we're talking about are completely user programmable. And there are three main alerts that we offer on the tow vehicle and the trailer system as well. You will have a first minor pressure alarm. So this one, again, can be specified by you at a 10% or 15% margin. And when that alert happens, it will actually go in the overpressure side or the underpressure side. So let's say you overfilled your tires and now they're running a little bit too high. You can get an alarm for that as well. But this first alarm, the unique thing about it is it is temperature compensated. So when you start out with a cold tire running down the highway, that tire will start heating up from the work that you're putting onto that tire. And say after an hour or so, you, a 100 PSI tire might, a might actually be running at 125 PSI of actual pressure. Now we know this relationship. We know that as the tire heats up, the pressure will increase. And because we know this, we actually adjust our alerts to come up with you to the new pressure. So when you have a slow leak or a minor leak to begin with, we actually take that percentage that you set as a user right off that new higher running pressure, that operating pressure that you're at. So we give you much earlier warning capabilities. We don't have to wait for you to come and drop all that air back down to your start out pressure and then the percentage that you set. We do it right up top when the tire is hot, running as it should. So you lose a lot less air out of your tire before you actually get an alarm with our system. That's the first alarm. The second alert is more of a hard-coded alert. That one is a, an even bigger percentage. And that really tells the driver, look, you have to pull over because it's going to create permanent damage to the tire. You got to seek assistance. Again, all in favor of, of saving that tire. If you identify the problem early enough, you can still save yourself the replacement cost. And of course, the third one, as I mentioned, is that separate high temperature alert. We already talked about that. Very handy in a lot of different situations, especially in a slow leak scenario. If you get the perfect setup, a slow leak could mask, for instance, the air loss the tire is actually experiencing. Let's say you're running up here at 120 PSI, you picked up a small nail or you have a valve stem leak, and now you're dropping air very slowly out of that tire. The tire will start doing more work. It's getting softer in the sidewalls, and that will raise the temperature in that tire, while a raise in temperature will actually increase the pressure in that tire as well. That could counteract the pressure loss that is actually occurring. So for traditional systems that only ever look at pressure by itself, they may say your tire is perfectly fine. My pressure level is stabilized. It's not changing. However, the temperature is rapidly climbing as that tire is starting to do more and more work. And this is what we can detect easily. We follow along both levels. And as the temperature increases and your pressure isn't going along with it, we know something's up. And we, again, give you that first warning alert. And then rapidly after that, a high temperature warning also. So again, just to reiterate, we do this on both the tow vehicle and the trailer in real time. And the best part is, if you are connected to a telematic system, you should check out our Safety Direct portal. We can actually port all that data in real time so you can get a text message or an email if one of your drivers is experiencing a low pressure situation or a high temperature tire. You can get notified, and you can actually see it in the web portal right there on the interface. You can see exactly what's happening. And again, we have a lot of these tutorials on our new uh, break-school.com website. So I encourage everybody to take a look there. Installation of sensors is explained there, how we do this. Uh, it's a very simple procedure. And also how you actually operate the gauge, all the different features that you can get on the gauge.